Here is a man, though, who is not a Muni. He's Gopal Krishna Goswami. And he is the head of the Hare Krishnas in Canada and in India. Now, Gopal, what do I call you? Gopal? Yeah, that's okay. Gopal Krishna Swami or Goswami. Gopal Krishna Maharaj. Are you an honest to goodness guru? Yes, a guru means one who gives spiritual guidance. So that is my business, to give spiritual guidance to society. I see. And you really, all the Krishnas are really cop-outs. You take no part in the practical life of the country. You merely go around dressed in your saffron robes, chanting and selling things. I would like to say that the people like you are cop-outs. In other words, the natural position of a living entity is to serve God. So when one doesn't serve God, he becomes a cop-out. I see. In fact, I think we're looking at things the other way around. I thought that Krishna consciousness came from India. You, are all your followers in Western Canada non-Indians? I would say 99 percent. But every, any time I meet them, I would say 99 percent of our congregation around the world outside India consists of people from that part of the world. I kind of like you. You're a nice guy. You're only 37. But every time I meet any of your followers, such as the two you have with you this morning, they all seem rather glazed and brainwashed. Is Hare Krishna a method of brainwashing people into abject serfdom and slavery? Actually, I'd like to correct your understanding. We don't brainwash people. In fact, from the very birth, the media and the educational system, the society, the relatives, brainwash the living entity to forget his relationship with God. True. So what we are doing actually is just helping undo that brainwashing by presenting the real truth to the individual. All right, if I become a Hare Krishna, I must accept Krishna consciousness, I must understand it, I must give up all material things, I must take a vow of poverty, and I must stand around in the streets chanting Hare, Hare, Hare. You don't have to stand on the streets. But you do it all the time. Not all of you us. You block the traffic on the streets. We you don't behave don't abominably no, on no, the streets. No, we don't block the traffic. When was the last time you saw traffic jam due to our chanting? Gone to the Hudson Bay. When? When? Did the, did the traffic get blocked? No, no, no. But you can't even walk by the corner without being pestered by people no, in not anymore. saffron robes. Not anymore. In fact, when we are out on saffron robes by Hudson's Bay, we're giving people away free literature. Who is standing in downtown Vancouver and giving out free literature? The Watchtower and the Kirchner. They don't give it free. They request a donation, but we give our literature free. Now, and we are also distributing cookies free. You give me away cookies free. Sure. D t tell me this. So, do you have some relationship to the Mooney, Sun Young Moon, who has built up a massive multi-billion dollar empire we have selling no things? We have no relationship with him or his philosophy at all. Our what do you think of the Moonies? Uh, our relationship is with the Supreme Lord Krishna. We follow the Vedic scriptures that has its roots in India. Regarding the Moonies, we do not think it's a bona fide... Uh, movement is not based upon authentic scriptures a uh, religion has to be based upon a bona fide scripture scriptures defined as the words of god all right now how do you get me into the moody's and tell me how you brainwash me so that i will accept this poverty and this humble existence in a material we don't society. want to brainwash you we would just wish that the brainwashing that you've experienced from your birth is freed that's all no. we don't want to brainwash you we want to present the truth we don't run commercials of the commercials like you do trying to brainwash people to buy a product we are just humbly begging people to understand the real reality that's another thing you beg on the streets you beg at the airports i've seen you begging and begging and begging. when did you see us last oh. begging on the streets in the last few years, I must have well, approached the Dutch. Well, uh, you have the Vancouver Sun article in front of you. But I don't believe what I read in the Vancouver okay, Sun. Okay, fine. You tell me. Okay. Have you stopped begging on the streets? Yes, we have. Finished? Yes, we have. Do you sell pamphlets on the streets? No, we don't. We give away pamphlets now because our sources of deriving income now have improved. We, are, we have a very wide congregation that gives us donations. Many members of our society do professional assignments. And... Our society is maturing and growing day by day, ah, even in Canada. Interesting point. Donations. If I am employed materially and uh, yeah. Hare Krishna, how much of my income must I give to you? What is the tithe? Uh, there's no minimum. There's no maximum. It 10%. all depends. It all depends on one's realization. But I must tithe what income I have to you. Well, society. I'll tell you one thing. 
The members of our society donate on a voluntary basis. There's no compulsion. How much pocket money do we get? Who? Your people who live in your communes. Ah, uh, they don't get as penny as pocket money. In fact, they have taken a vow of poverty. They've decided to dedicate their whole lives for the propagation of God consciousness, which is the need of the society. How many? You should be using your television to encourage the propagation of God consciousness because this is the biggest problem in society today. But uh, somebody's got to work. Somebody's got to build the hospitals. Fine, somebody's fine. Somebody's got to make the inventions. Fine, go ahead and... Somebody's got to supply the services. <coughs> you fine. take all the advantages, but you do nothing practically to help society. In fact, we take all the advantages and we are rendering the biggest gift to society, In giving case. them God consciousness, giving them the process by which they can realize peace, the process by which they can become happy. The problem in society, Take, for example, Vancouver or any society. Everything good is on the decline. Everything evil is on the increase. Why? Due to a lack of God consciousness. God or Krishna has to be brought in the center of You're our life. You're not suggesting to me, uh, Gopal, that the state of evil in the society is any worse today than it was a hundred years ago. It is. Take, for example, the government oh. statistics. The which? Statistics. The crime rate has gone up now compared to... E a hundred years ago? Depends who does the statistics. I could do them again and it would go down by a hundred years ago. But tell me this, okay. how many times do heartbroken parents, serious question, do come to heartbroken, yeah. heartbroken, parents. broken heart, heartbroken parents come to you and say, for God's sake, free my youngster from your clutches. You'll be surprised, not too often, and even when they do come and they see how happy the children are, they begin to reconsider what they have been thinking. Okay, I have more questions, and I might have time for a few calls to our delightful Hare Krishna man, Gopal Krishna Goswami. <coughs> Excuse my cough. After the break. All that my friend Gopal Krishna Goswami wants to talk about is philosophy, but I want to talk about practical things. Do you ban drugs? Completely. Do you ban all premarital sex? Yes, we do. Do you eat meat? No. You regard women as inferior to men? Not at all. I'm surprised why the media keeps bringing up this point again and again. The women have a role to play, the men have a role to play, the children have a role to play and they're all playing the respective roles just like within your TV station you have different people doing different assignments based on their abilities isn't it why isn't everybody else sharing the show Dean old Rick Houston quote you, you as you saying you just told me that you didn't believe in this article of the bank I believe time. what I want to believe when I want to believe it <laughs> but he just told me five minutes when I want to believe it I believe it you say women are intellectually inferior because their brains weigh less we that, believe this has been misrepresented. You don't say that? No, we, I said something different. I said we've heard about that, but we didn't discuss it. You just said yourself that you didn't but believe women, this article. Women are treated inferior and... Are they in are not treated inferior. Just say like, for example, if a woman has to stay at home to take care of children, doesn't mean that she is inferior. Women have different roles to play. Anyway... But everyone has an equal opportunity for serving Krishna. I'll that is the point to note. I'll bet you you don't get many tough kids in Krishna. I bet you get the kind of university dropouts who are a little confused. Well, I think you'll be surprised. And have been through drugs. Are you telling me the university graduates are not confused? Oh, they're confused, but some, the more they confused are, ones, join Krishna. I think the more education you acquire, the more confused you get. In fact, there was an article in the papers yesterday which showed, which said, that all these professionals are becoming unemployed really don't know what to do with themselves. Okay, one so here you have people who have education and experience and they're confused. They don't know what to do when they become you know, unemployed. Gopal, you're <laughs> almost too good to be true. <laughs> well, How many times have people been deprogrammed to get rid of this chanting hypnotism with which you infect their poor little brains? Well, not too many have been deprogrammed because the reality is even when they do get deprogrammed, they always end up coming back to the Hare Krishnas, the children, or the... What members. age must they be before the, you will accept them in one of your communes? Uh, whatever the minimum age of the law of that country is. We do not accept, we don't let anybody come unless he fulfills the minimum legal requirement of that country. Does he have to bring money? No, he doesn't. 
Gopal, I, did, I was determined not to shout at you this morning, and I'm not going to shout at you. I just don't like your sect or your cult. Well, first of all, we are not a cult. A cult is defined as a group in which one personality is the leader, which is not based upon any bona fide religious scriptures. The Krishna conscious movement follows the Vedic texts, which are the oldest known scriptures to mankind. The roots of this religion trace back 5,000 years, and there are millions of Hindus around the world who follow the same beliefs that we do. You're all Hindus. If well, one is a Krishna, Krishna is one a Hindu. Our beliefs are very similar, yes. But uh, that means that all these guys who are the white faces and the cropped hair are all Hindus. Our, our, I'm our beliefs are the same. Okay, go ahead, please. Good morning, Jack. Morning. I'd like to ask this gentleman who's teaching his children. I noticed that on the streets there are a lot of young kids uh, yeah. doing their little dance with their parents. I suppose they are. Mm. Who's putting them through the education system? We have our own system of education, which has been developed after a great, a great deal of research. And in fact, we found our children to be able to read and write and speak better than these children okay, of other your schools. children do not go to the public schools, is that we correct? We have our own schools. You have your own schools? Yes. You pay for yourself? Yes. We, we've called, developed our own curriculum. Okay. We pay for ourselves. We teach ourselves. And the proof is that our kids can read and write and speak better than the three to four years ahead of... Is your children. school system approved by the government? Any, any group, any group, no matter how weird and offbeat, can register a school with the B.C. government and they can't refuse to approve it. You know that? That's a fact anyway, even if you didn't know and it. Go I ahead, please. Go ahead, please. Yes, um, I'd like to ask uh, the Gopal Krishna. I've seen the chanting in the park, and I must say I really like it. Um, I've received some of their magazines and their books, and I've read them. Sometimes I have a hard time understanding some of them, but it seems to me that they really have something to offer society from what they do and what they write. I was wondering if uh, Gopal could tell me what they think they can do for society. And I would like to wish them the best of luck, actually. I think it takes a lot of guts. Thank you, ma'am. That's a favorable call. We don't need to dwell on it too Well, much. I can just tell you what we can do for society. For the society, we are giving them education which no other institution is giving. Actually, our institution is an institution where we are imparting the highest education, that is spiritual education. You say. Everyone says that. No, 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 I don't say it. Because you haven't taken the time to understand no, no, I it. I you mean, are trying to understand us from a distance. the Western world. I you are garbage. trying to understand us from a distance. But if you come closer to understand us, you'll also say the same thing. I watched a special the other night about all your strange cults from India and all the rest of it. And there were but all you these... you know, what, what, what is the meaning of a cult? A cult is a place where people don't have a free will. How do you say we don't have a free will? Because if somebody doesn't want to stay in a temple, he's will, free to walk out. You will forgive this sardonic remark, but I don't see anyone having a free will who walks around on a saffron robe, lives in poverty, not allowed to eat me meat, women regarded as inferior, and lives at the kind of low end of the totem pole. He doesn't live at the low end. In fact, he is living at the high end. Therefore, the devotees of Hare Krishna are always happy. Whereas you have to take shelter of meat, drugs, illicit sex, gambling to Are be you happy. accusing me? <laughs> <laughs> Please, Gopal, I will accept your apology. You will. Yes, I will. We're talking in general. That's okay. <laughs> Goodness gracious me. A man of your cuth embarrassing a 64-year-old. No, we're talking oh, in general. Gopal, really? <laughs> Go ahead, please. You're making me blush <laughs> for the first time in 50 years. Go ahead. <laughs> Harry Krishna. Would you let parents come and take their kids away? In fact, you'll be amazed how many parents visit their children on a regular basis. In fact, we encourage our children, okay. our members, to write to their parents. Okay. You've got 30 seconds to brainwash me to become a Krishna. You only have... 30 seconds. Our request is, the human form of life has a purpose. The purpose is to establish a relationship with God. Re establishing a relationship with God has to be based on some scriptures. 
hide than this garment enough, of the but garment. You don't of, have to work. If I become a Krishna, I don't have to dirty you, my hands. You do have to do it. Automobiles are working do. for a living. You do have to. In fact, we have many mechanics who are Hare Krishnas. Gopal Krishna Goswami. I shall look forward to the future in Vancouver where there will be no begging on the streets by Krishnas and nobody jamming up the Hudson Bay corner. Well, I can assure you that whoever hears the chanting benefits spiritually and the glorification of the Lord should be encouraged. This country was founded on the premise that everything is coming from God. I so we are glorifying God in public and the media should encourage it. My thanks to Gopal Krishna Goswami. And I'll be back with reality and unemployment and people who work for a living or want to work for a living for the society after the break.